if you could just set aside your ideology for a moment, what's your truth? What do you feel is truth? Because this is the truth that I am God, you're God, this is all God. In those moments, a Zen master would take a gong and gong the gong of recognition of the absolute truth that goes beyond any words he said, any phenomena of auras and lights that were emanating from him. There was just the simple truth that spoke from the absolute through time and space directly to here. And I knew that he knew the absoluteness. Now, we can be God, know that, and then come back to our actuality as our everyday humanness, our everyday roles that we play. But when that taste is there, we know the absolute truth somewhere within ourselves and get to rest in that and stoke that and honor that and remember that in trying times. And that taste of God, the God within, it allows us to dive deeper into our spiritual path, our journey of self-illumination, self-realization, inner transcendence. And paradoxically, it allows us to play the game of the actor, the chess piece that the God we are is playing, known as your name, Satyan, this chess piece that we limit into small moves, thinking, yes, you know, the rook can move this way and the queen can move this way, but those are all limitations we put on the game of our godness to play with each other. And yet in those moments where we don't have to play the game of our limitations and we come into the recognition that we are the grand players, the divine itself, and that all this is emerging, all this existence is emerging simply as the playing board, like a chess board, in which we can reduce our infinity down into limited moves so that we can play the game of freedom and restriction that life is.